Hi everybody, welcome to the Aftermath Vlog. Um, once again, I'm recording this on the day of the night. I'm going to do my next karaoke night, which is going to be at Lucky's. Um, so I'll bring another birthday party. Um, I'm just doing like some last minute uh, tweaking here. I did make sure to watch the videos another, uh, another, I watched them about like maybe two or three times. Um, um, I went down extremely, extremely early. Um, I also, um, I actually got there so, or so early Joe didn't show up yet. So, so, I was just sort of like hanging out waiting for him to show up. Um, they, I, uh, asked the bartenders if they had any, like, food food items, and they said, well, you can order from this place or this place, and they'll deliver it. I can't really remember the specifics of the conversation, but, um, it just, so all that was left were, like, like snack options, and they said, like, we have, like, beef jerky, we have, uh, some gins, we have, uh, pretzel pieces, we have, uh, peanuts and they said well I'm allergic to peanuts so I can't have that as an option um two thirds of battery okay um so I had uh cheddar cheese pretzel pieces and uh honey mustard onion honey mustard and onion pretzel pieces um I made sure to have the, the honey mustard second because I know honey is a great you know as I've learned it's a great way to get the vocal cords, um, sort of hydrated. Um, I'm recording this at like 10.30 in the morning. I have way too much to do. I have, I have dishes. I have, I have a birthday card there. I gotta, where is it? Birthday card there. I gotta sign and do a lot of stuff with. So, I have like so many things running through my brain. Um, Eminem just dropped an album teaser, um, which I'm, ecstatic about so I have a lot of <laughs> thoughts just pounding on my brain and this like almost isn't the forefront of it uh, apologies for the late aftermath vlog I really should have recorded one the next day I really should have um but yeah um this was one where I heavily even though I had a set list um I did ask um this was like a heavy, like, Discord, heavy Discord voice chat, um, event as well. Um, so, uh, I had, uh, my two finalists from, uh, my, uh, E. Aver of Love, The Bachelor show I did earlier on this month, um, joined the, uh, the voice chat and, Listen to me singing my songs, song parodies, they absolutely love them. The woman I picked as the winner, who is now technically my online girlfriend, um, her and the runner-up, which, you know, has become a good friend also online, um, they went back and forth and they, uh, asked them, okay, here's, here's my set list for the night, um, and basically I'm allowing you two to, like, mix it up a bit. So, I did say that, uh, she never told me she was a nun was first, which I, which I did, which I did. I'm afraid this might run out of me, so, um, so I sang she never told me she was a nun. Which went pretty, like, every single song, I made sure to perform it as if it's, like, my official song. Like, if, like, if you, like, if I would have recorded an album of songs and, you know, you would play one of the tracks on it, I'd try to make it sound most, like, album accurate as I possibly could. Um... So next to my uh, online girlfriend shows, Fat and Forty, and I got all dressed up. I made sure to bring that uh, 
that silk book hat thing, you know. Um, I actually just recently compared it to the version of White and Nerdy I did at Bella's for the Weird Al Part 1 showcase, and it was pr it was pretty damn good. They synchronized very, very well. Um, I also did a round of them where I just, perf I just, uh, I, I uh, played the the performances along with the uh, their edited uh, original versions. Um, so after that, the third song I did was "O oh, to a Singer," and uh, the uh, the runner-up Julie. Uh, who, whose nickname was, um, Susanna, but she writes children's books, um, chose Ode to a Singer. I bought a third bag of, uh, pretzel pieces. Um, again, I sang all these pretty well. Um, I really wanted to, I think I had, like, 150 manly. I had 150 Manly as my starter originally. And throughout the night, like, the more and more I got towards, like, almost the end of the night, I was really mentally, like, preparing myself to want to do it. So, I'm, I probably am going to do 150 Manly, but it's probably going to be for the second chancer's night. Um, which is going to be, and I think I might be taking a, a month-long break and then come back in June and finish it all up. Um, I don't know if I want to end, um, the karaoke season on my birthday, it, it wasn't even a thought until, like, literally two seconds ago. Um, yeah, the next one, um, next one, my girlfriend chose Disguise, which is my, uh, Foo Fighters. My parody of Weird Al's Foo Fighters style parody, um, which was called My Own Eyes. Um, and, uh, actually Craig was there, and actually Rich P came down as well. But I performed that with, uh, with, with, with Craig present because, like, when I just started getting to, like, know him as, a, like, a person, like, not just, like, a karaoke friend, um... He was doing uh, Monkey Wrench by uh, Foo Fighters, and so that eventually led on to me doing uh, that Monkey Wrench at, I believe I did it for the All-Star Showcase you know, during the karaoke sessions era, um, and I, I, I did a single along to my own eyes once or twice, so I'm actually planning on making sure I sing that tonight, my own eyes. But Disguise went really well. Um, and then I was down to... Where is it? Let me find it. Yeah, so... 150 Manly or Active. Um... And then I clarify, Manly is a parody of Handy, which is Iggy Azalea, and Active is a parody of Inactive. And my girlfriend chose Active. Um, so, that was like my final song of the night. I really tried to sit, like set it up or end it off as if, you know, I should have said, that's my last song, everybody. Have a good night, Smoke Rings. Um, and so, I actually helped, uh, at the end of the night, I helped, uh, Help Joe pack up. Um, and before I closed my tab off, I uh, I decided to buy uh, a piece of beef jerky and a Slim Jim. Um, and then uh, I got I got the uh, the tab back, and the sticker shock was shocking. Like it was like really like it took me back. I'm like that's all my money, almost all my money. I had like a five left. Yeah, it was like twenty-one dollars. Remember, I I I left I left with uh, twenty-one point 
$27.27. It's word out month, it's the number. So I did not know that those bags of uh, pretzel bites were $5 each. That was like shocking to me. But but the good news is the the slim uh, that uh, slim gym which was like super long. I don't have the uh, the garbage bag with the thing anymore. That was a dollar, and the uh, the piece of uh, beef jerky was a dollar fifty, which isn't too bad. Um, if I do do a third night there, those are going to be my absolute go tos. Um, and maybe if possible, like. But I need to make sure they're like honey mustard pretzel pieces. And I'm only going to get one bag. Because, you know. That, that's like freaking like gas station prices. Like, that is insane. Um, oh, um, another, I want to tell you a quick story. Um, after I did She Never Told Me She Was a Nun, one of the bartenders came over and told me, that song really relates to me. Because my mother almost became a nun, or however the story went. And I'm like, you're kidding. <laughs> she said no, and then we got talking a little bit more. And she was like, when did you write that? I'm like, 7th grade, 2002. And she's like, wow. Like, and I feel like nobody really knew that the, the songs I was singing were parodies of Word Owl songs. Um, I should have made that clearer. Um... But yeah, um, I gave her a link to my uh, songbook Facebook page so she could like read the lyrics and yeah, this was quite an amazing night. Um, I got like six sodas. They only paid me for like two. Um, but oh, but overall, this was another fantastic night. Singing really well. Um, I'm going to throw this in the charger. This is an important day for me to charge my, my camera here. Um, so that being said, um, the uh, socials are done in the description, hopefully. Uh, ring the bell for notifications. Um, this next night's going to be... Like, I'm still having a hard time, like, like settling on a set list again. Because I'm like, do, I'm trying to include every Word Out hit that I haven't done yet. I did like the majority of hits. I did like White and Nerdy, Eat It, Smells Like Nirvana. I did, I did Your Pitiful for God's sakes. I did Amish Paradise. I did Like a Surgeon, My Bologna, Your Pitiful. Like all the, uh, all the like the major hits and like in in the case of Your Pitiful, wanting to do that song for the first showcase. Um, Word Out Month has been fantastic so far, and I'm hoping to end it, um, on a great note, like, you'll find out later. So, it's EA signing out, everybody.